Today, we're gonna to talk about how to get your portfolio published for free. Today's episode is brought to you by fizzbuzzenergy.com. When you need to hit that deadline, grab some Cody Energy in a can. Tastes great and makes the ultimate desktop accessory. Go to fizzbuzzenergy.com. So you got yourself a coding portfolio or a coding project and it's sitting in your Git repo. And this is a common thing that a lot of people trying to break in to do, or even people looking for that next job. Um, all of their experience and things that they've built is inside their Git repo and they really haven't found a way to publish that to someone. And you get this common advice, well, you know what, you gotta have a Git repo and you're expecting a recruiter, think about this, to go to your Git repo clone it or download the zip, uncompress it and get it working if you have any kind of like um, project dependencies or anything like that. And typically they're not gonna do that, especially if you're talking to an HR manager or another type of internal recruiter, uh, they may not know how or they may wanna not take the time to do that. So therefore it doesn't get shown to that hiring manager. And what you need is a URL that a, a recruiter, HR manager, a dev manager can quickly click on and just view that really cool portfolio that you have, that great coding project that you have. So this got me thinking, and I was looking at um, an old project that we did a couple weeks back called Notary. And, um, and Notary is a JavaScript, HTML, CSS project that we built. And what it allows you to do is when you click on a link, it loads the complete text of a book. And then once that book is loaded, it allows you to you know, like search for a keyword, like in Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, it looks for the word Sam here. And you can see it found it 483 times, you know, and as no surprise though, the word Frodo was used a thousand times, the most used word in the book. Um, if you'd like to know how we built this, I'm not going through that, um, but you can watch a tutorial on the Coder Founder YouTube channel. Um, you can also download the code at our public repo um, on GitHub. And you can use that to, as you code along maybe, or use that to push that into your portfolios. Um, whatever you wanna do there, so you can get the tutorial and the code. But what we're gonna talk about today is, how do I get this published? And so when I was researching, a friend of mine turned me on to something, and it's that, I, that is really, really powerful and really, really cool. And it's called Netlify. And Netlify is a way for you to push your codes directly from your repos, which is very powerful. And I'm gonna show you that today and how we could do that. But when I went to the Netlify website, it said this, deploy your site in seconds, connect your repo, add your build settings, deploy your site, get started for free. So right away it says, I'm gonna deploy my site in seconds and second is not gonna cost me anything. And I'm thinking, yeah, right, where's the catch? And am I gonna spend my whole day trying to learn about how to deploy something? It really can't take seconds, can it? Well, let's look and check this out. So I created an account and I've already got an account here and you can see I don't have any sites in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, I want a new site from Git. And what it does is the first thing you must do is, is connect your GitHub account to it or your GitLab or your Bitbucket account, your Git repos. Now you can do this manually, um, but if you're doing it, you're gonna miss out on what we call continuous deployment. And so what I want you to do is if you're coding professional trying to break in, all of your code should be under source control and Git is the most widely used. So it makes sense to use GitHub or Bitbucket or GitLab or something like that. At Coder Founder, we use GitHub. And so I'm gonna go here and click on it and connect it. And now it's authorized to my, to my account there. And all of that was done through point and click. And then I can pick the organizations that I want here. So I can pick Coder Foundry right here. And then it shows me the repos that I have set up. And so you can configure the Netlify app to um, any of your repos. And I've already done it to this one, but it's all point and click driven. Literally took me 20 seconds to do. And then once I select my repo, you can see here it's showing me these branches that I can deploy. Now, before I do this, I want to talk about this real quickly. So if you're using source control, you're familiar with that, um, and you just come here for the Netlify tutorial, 
check this out you can deploy from any branch in your repo and then in those branches can also have their own unique domains so you can publish from like staging or QA or master if you want to push something into production or you may have a branch where you're testing out a feature and you just want someone to look at that all of this can be achieved through Netlify now if you're just trying to publish your portfolio and it's a one person project and it's just you working on it well you can just probably typically are going to use the master branch for that and that's what I'm going to do here and so I'm just going to take this master branch here and I'm going to take the defaults the basic build settings and you can learn more about the build settings in the docs but let me just show you how cool this is so I'm gonna hit deploy site and check this out I did not speed the film up here that happened in what five six seven seconds that this was deployed and check this out now my site is deployed on Netlify I didn't have to configure a web server I didn't have to copy files over it just deployed it and guess what on top of all that it actually works which is amazing too and so now I can click on Lord of the Rings it loads my book and I can search on Sam and look it's really snappy and fast as well so they held up to this this um, thing it's like deploy your site in seconds and literally that is the case and it's easy to do because sometimes when you're learning to code you may not know about web servers quite yet or how to deploy especially if you're going to some environments it can get quite complex and a little and another thing to know Netlify solves all of that for you now we could stop here I can end the video and we could be excited and you can go to Netfly and you can deploy your sites but that is not all of the magic and let me show you what else you can do with this okay so let's go over here and notice here that we've got this kind of gracious Liskoff 942b2a it was not a great name okay and so can I connect my personal domain to this website and does it cost me anything the answer is absolutely you can connect your personal domain here and you can uh, do it for free which is kind of cool so I'm gonna go to the domain settings here and I'm going to add a custom domain and if you if you know um, anything about domains and you're publishing your own site you probably should have your own personal name which is like you know my name dev.com or whatever it is at coder founder we own coderfoundry.com obviously and I'm going to make what's called a subdomain and I'm just going to call it notary okay and so notary.coderfoundry.com and I'm just going to hit verify and it says do you own this domain I'm gonna say yes I do and what I need to do now is actually change my DNS configuration which is um, really easy to do now what we're gonna do here is add what's called a C name now C name is supported by most of the DNS providers like GoDaddy um, we use Dyn DNS um, and it's supported there and it's a really simple one record you can also add an a record I'm not gonna go over that but it's completely um, documented in their documentation how you do this you can also do this totally within Netlify Netlify has all the DNS functionality built in as well but I wanted to show you how easy this was to do if you're using your own DNS record so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy the name of this website that they gave us and this is the generated name from Netlify and I'm gonna go over to my DNS okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a sub host and a C name record on my inside of my DNS so right here I'm gonna create a C name record and I'm gonna call it Notar Foundry, uh, Notar Foundry, notary foundry notary.coderfoundry.com and what I do is I paste in the name that was generated over at Netlify and I hit create record and it creates a C name record for me now what I can do now is I can refresh this to make sure that it checks my configuration and that's true now in here we deploy our um, we also have to deploy SSL certificate this also is free so it verifies it and then it's going to provision it and I just hit provision and yes it provisions 
So what I do here is I'm just going to refresh the page here. And sometimes it takes a couple of tries for the certificate to get deployed out there. And you can see now that um, your site has HTTPS enabled and it's done by Let's Encrypt. And it's all kind of really set up and ready to go. So we click over here. And now you notice that we have, in fact, a secure site, which is kind of cool. Okay. But that's not it. That's not everything. We could stop there. And that's pretty neat. And we have um, a fully functional site that's been published. But let's look at something else that I think is super powerful that will actually um, is kind of magical. So I'm going to close out our setup here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over my editor here and what I, what I want to do is just change make a quick change to my site here so this is VS Code and this is my code that I want to change and I'm going to add a new book in here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde as a new book so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it in and so I've got a book here and this is from the um, Project Gutenberg's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Lewis Stevenson very famous book and it's got a name here I'm going to copy the name here rename just cut and paste Let's see okay and let's go back to my index here let's close this down and what I have to do just to set this up, and you can get this in our tutorial, is it takes the name of the text file that you're going to do. And then you want to pass it the, the name of what you want to appear. I'm going to say Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And then this will be the name of the link here. Okay, it went on two places. Let's go to the end. Let's put it in here. And we'll cut and paste the same thing here. And this will just be the link to our book. Pretty simple, just a uh, simple A tag there. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to um, make that change here. So let's look at it and go live here. I'm using live server here to show it. And you can see here we're running in localhost um, right from live server. And we've got our new book here. And you can see there it is, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It came up. So we've made our change here. And that's kind of cool, right? But what if we wanted to publish this change? What would we do? do okay so let's get out of here and this is our published version here so let's put this to the side here okay I'll squeeze this down just a little bit it is responsive because of the magic of bootstrap and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the github desktop which is um, what I like you can use your source control however you want And you can see here that in inside of GitHub for Desktop, it's tracking a couple of changes here. It's adding in a new book and it's adding in the changes I made to the index. And you can see here it's tracking the new LI that we made right there. So I'm going to say added a new book, Dr. Jekyll. And Mr. Hyde. And this is my change here. Now this is where it gets kind of magical. So I'm going to commit that to the master. And we know that a commit commits it locally. And then we can push it to the server. So I'm going to push this, my changes, to GitHub. It takes a couple seconds. And now my changes are out there. Now watch this. This is my published version at Notary. Look at that, the changes are out there. And so what it did was it, it looked at my repo, it noticed that there was a change, and then it did the deployment for me automatically. 
And that, my friends, is called continuous deployment. And in a lot of places, that's nothing short of magic. That will help you on large teams when you're um, always pushing things. You want it to build and send it out to the server. You don't have to get teams together, get some zip files, copy them around, try to, try to figure out where it goes. But this is deployed on a very vast network. It's very fast and um, very robust. And it gives you a way to just make your changes, deploy them to without even having to touch a web server. And I think that itself is really cool. And guess what? All of this is exactly for free. Pretty neat. So where do we go from here? What can we do? What else can we do? Is Netlify just for um, portfolio websites? And the answer is no. You can do a lot of other things in here. It has a lot of features. It doesn't do everything, but you can go beyond static. Um, you have fundamentals with rock solid deployment. I can't tell you how cool that is for continuous integration. Um, you also can support forms and um, even Lambda functions or serverless functions as well with ease. And then you can build you can build your own build tools or microservices that it can communicate with. And you can deploy all this to Netlify's platform. And when you really look at the pricing, for most cases, a lot of the cases, it is free. If you need concurrent builds or password protected sites after you deploy them, they're going to charge you a little bit for that. Um, but if you need enterprise, you can do that as well. And even at the enterprise, um, at $500 a month for the enterprise, it's actually pretty reasonable. And what you get is pretty robust. So if you've been trying to solve the continuous deployment problem, Netlify has that solved and it's very easy. If you're just trying to deploy your portfolio, um, Netlify is a great option and um, it makes it real easy for you to just publish that straight from your GitHub repo. So anyway, I hope this helps. And as I always say, good luck and keep coding.